Ah, oh, good day. Welcome to Farming Live Australia. This video is about putting a new fuel hose in my MS660 steel chainsaw. The chainsaw started to play up and whenever the fuel level dropped below about three quarters of a tank, it would start to miss and carry on. And on investigation I found that the fuel feed hose had a hole in it. I've never actually replaced one of these hoses before so I could have a bit of trouble because I'm going to have to try and work out how to do it as I go along. I have had a look on YouTube but unfortunately I couldn't find a video exactly for the MS660 Magnum. I've had a look at others and I've had a look at a quick look at the saw so I've got a bit of an idea what's going on. Anyway without further ado we'll get into it. This is a packet of stuff that I ordered from the still shop. This is obviously the new hose and while I was at it I bought a new filter. I'm going to now start taking the saw apart and try and figure out how all that fits in the saw. Okay, so I'll, first I'll take the air filter off. Alright. Okay, now these two bolts here obviously have to come undone, or nuts actually. So I'll take them undone, I've got the right size spanner here. Interesting in here, I haven't had this saw apart before, and this saw would probably be, uh, be more than 10 years old, and look at all the sawdust that's actually in here. The good thing about it is none is actually inside the saw itself, where it matters. I need to clean this out in here, and I don't want anything to get actually inside the saw. So what I'm going to do is put the choke on and that'll block the butterfly there and as well as that I'll take a bit of precaution. I've made this little plate out of plastic and I'm going to put that across the mouth of the carburetor and seal it off with a little bit of grease and put the nuts back on and hope that that keeps all the dust out while I blow it out in there. On the other side. Slowly, slowly, pan slowly. You pull it, you pull it okay? Alright. Okay, you can see no dust has got in there, so that's good. The next step is to get the carburetor off and you have to take this rubber thing here out to do that. And you can see there the carburetor is loose but there's a couple of little linkages that are stopping it actually coming out. Just here is the fuel line and that's going to have to come off before I can slide that carburetor out. I've now got the fuel line off. This little thing here, on there, hooks up to that piece of wire there, which is actuated by this trigger here. 
that's fairly hard to get undone but you can do it and if you look here there's a little slot and you just get a screwdriver and work it out of that slot get this bit of wire out of the road and then you can just ease the carburetor off down in here just here is where the hose goes down into the tank hose and you can just put your screwdriver under that and lever it up and pull that out so that has now got rid of the hose that goes from the tank hose to the carburetor. Okay, the first thing I have to do now is try to get the hose out and or well, I'll try and get the filter out of the tank, which I've done. And I have got another one. And as you can see, this hose is pretty buggered. I don't really think that that filter probably is anything wrong with it. It wasn't choked up or anything, but I don't want to go through all this trouble and leave the old filter. I'll just save it in case I need a spare one. Going to try and get the hose out. I, I don't know how hard this is going to be. Okay. Actually, that this is the old one and the new one. And you can see this old one see here it's somewhere it must have holes in it. it it's still you can see on the end here it's all ratchet but it's all had it and it's not very flexible anymore it's got holes in it somewhere I don't know where exactly down in there where the hole is there's a bit of dirt so before I place the new hose in I'll have to clean that out okay I'll try and get the hose back in the hole okay I can see the hose inside there Just come, and I'll grab hold of it and you can see now that I put a bit of pressure on the hose and push that back into place and that fits perfectly I've pulled the end of the hose out of the tank and I'm now going to put on the filter okay so the filter's back on put it back in the tank and that looks really good so you can see now the hose is perfectly in place it's now time to put it all back together the first thing I've got to do is put this little hose back in the tank hose so that actually goes in quite easy and because it's a little bit bigger than the thing it actually helps hold the tank hose in so we have to make sure that this tube here and this tube here actually get hooked up when we put the carburetor back in okay so we got our carburetor and the bottom hose slid straight in that one down there this one here we've got to put on and I'll hold my thumb against it and grab my pliers and put that hose on so you can see now this hose is on and the one underneath is on so that's correct now the next thing I need to do is hook up that little clip um, I don't know how I'm going to do that oh yeah, I know. Okay, I've got that hooked on. So you can see that's all working. Next I've got to put this on. This, this is the thing to adjust the mixture and the idle. That's where the screwdriver goes through. I have to put this back in. This is the next part that has to go on. And as you can see, it's pretty dusty. So I'll give that a clean off with the air. So 
she's nice and clean now so I'll put her back on okay so we've got that on then this goes on up this way this thing here can only go one way because the plastic will only let it go one way you just got to move it around a little bit till it fits properly it's, it's just a little bit tricky but not impossible still saws to work on generally are pretty good I mean I'm not a mechanic by any means but I can work on them alright you know they're not a difficult saw to work on I'd say actually that the Chinese saws are harder to work on than the steel they're just a little bit fiddlier and the components are a little bit finer the other thing I should say in all fairness this is a reasonable size saw so the parts on it are probably a bit bigger than some of the little saws and that makes it a bit easier too don't over tighten these, they've got to be tight but not ridiculous now I'll just check all the controls work, yes that uh, they do, choke all works yep everything works properly the only thing is I can see just in here a little bit of dirt that I've missed so I'll just get in there and wipe that out when you put this bit here on just be very careful that it's the correct way up it's not hard to try and put it on upside down this hole here has to be open up the top here that hole so if you've got it on the wrong way up that hole wants to be covered up Okay. put your filter on screw the back of your cover on now the big question is will it go That's <clears throat> will it actually go just come down the paddock to give the saw a run under actual working conditions and this is sped up two times so it's not too boring On the first start it took a few pulls to get it to actually go until the new line was primed then it went really well and it's just like it was when it was brand new now so I'm really happy with that job it all turned out good no problems and not too bad to do at all thanks a lot for watching this edition of Farming Live Australia we'll see you next time